So are you someone who is short and you simply want to be taller? Because I have been getting plenty of requests on my Instagram emails and you all are like, I want to get taller. Can you help me out? And I thought I want to make another video talking about this topic because I've made a video previously on my channel about this topic and the response to that video was great. And I'm going to be telling you how you can actually be taller and there are some things that you can do that can make a difference on your height someone like myself i am six foot like i said that like i'm proud of something but i am six foot and i have done things in my younger days when i was a lot younger which have helped me and made me a lot taller and all of you have been asking like i want to get taller can you just help me out tell me some exercise as well in this video i'm going to be telling you the complete guide on how to get taller i'm going to be telling you the diet the exercises and other tips that you have to do if you want to get taller but before this video starts i want you to click the like button literally click the like button and now because i know you all forget if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can join the ram guman army you can get in shape you can get short abs because that's what we do on the channel and also follow me on instagram and snapchat so let's begin this video so first i want to tell you that genetics play a huge role in how tall you are some people have longer legs than others some people have shorter arms you know this is all genetics and you cannot do nothing about your genetics except for blame your parents or blame like your generation in the previous years and the centuries you can blame them because you simply cannot do nothing about this so that's the first thing that I want you to remember that your height, the shape of our body, the shape of our muscles and how they are shaped, that is 100% genetics. It's just how people ask me that I want this certain muscle in this certain spot. And like you cannot create muscles that you don't have. Your height, the shape of your muscle is 100% genetics. So that's the first thing I want you to remember. People have growth spurs at different ages. So if you are someone who is like 14 or 15 at the minute and you're just thinking like, I'm so small, I'm the smallest guy in my year. What the hell do I do? Well, you can actually get taller because you can grow potentially up until you're like 20. So if you are someone who is like 13 or 14 and you want to get taller, don't lose hope have belief have belief in yourself that you will get taller because someone like myself i was more on the scale where i just literally just kept growing i didn't have like that sudden growth spell where you literally just bump up some people get that and i know some people when they were about 14 they were short and as soon as they are like 17 that's it boom six foot that's what we all want to be we all want to be six foot so still have hope because you may have that growth spur later on down the years now your diet plays a huge role in this now look at some people who are in poverty and they don't have access to good quality food a lot of them they are you know short you don't really see like people who are in poverty who are tall simply because they do not have a good diet and something that you want to be doing is make sure that you are getting enough calcium in your diet now calcium is very important for your bones and the foods that have calcium are things like milk cheese and when your mom when you were younger she said have your milk and you were like no like see that could have been the difference between you being like five foot ten and six foot because calcium plays a huge role and if you are someone who's younger like i don't know 10 or 12 make sure that you are drinking plenty of milk and if you are a vegan or vegetarian you can have things like broccoli and cabbage this is another good calcium source that you can so if you are a vegan or vegetarian and you think like i can't get enough calcium calcium only comes from milk well that's not true even nuts have calcium in as well so make sure you are getting in enough calcium it's really good for your body it's so important for your bones as well because your bones will get stronger as well and later on down the years when you may be i don't know 40 or 50 you know you want strong bones because that's the age where your body starts falling into bits and you want to be a strong healthy 40 or 50 year old and you don't want to just start you know getting demotivated you know coming back home from work and just sitting on your desk because you ain't got no energy because your body is in bits 
you don't want that to happen. So make sure you get enough calcium in your diet. You want to be also making sure that you are getting in enough protein. And if you all have been following my channel, I've told you that protein is so important for muscle growth and for recovery. And it also is very important if you want to be taller because protein will help not only your muscles, but it'll also help your body to develop and grow. So what foods have protein? Things like chicken, fish, meat products, all these foods have protein. And if you are a vegetarian, you can have soya, tofu, lentils. Protein is so important. And it's not only important you know, to grow taller, but it's important for your body. And if you have goals, not only to be tall, but also to have a good physique, you want to be making sure that protein is in your diet. And also another thing that is very important that you get is a vitamin D. This is another important thing that you must have in your diet. I didn't even know what vitamin D was until literally a couple of years ago. Until my doctor said to me, look, Mr. Ramadeep Singh Guman, you are not getting enough of vitamin D in your diet. And I'm like, what the hell is vitamin D? I don't even know what the hell it is. Vitamin D is very important. And foods that have vitamin D are things like fish and even some cereals as well. And who doesn't love cereal? I absolutely love cereal. I can literally have cereal all day every day so fish cereal these are foods which have vitamin d if you don't have access for some particular reason to cereal or fish you can have a vitamin d capsule it's like a very small tablet capsule that you can get and i recommend that to only people who are above 16 but if you're like 12 years old and you think like i don't get no vitamin d what the hell do i do well Okay, that was a little bit of a crazy voice. You can get enough vitamin D from your food. So make sure you're having enough fish and make sure that you are even having some cereal. So your mom gives you some milk and some cereal, have it. Don't be like, no, I don't want cereal in the morning. And then you come on YouTube and search how to grow taller. And then you see me because I've just come and told you the things that you should have done or you can do in the future to help you grow taller. See, I'm just here to help you. I'm here to get you taller and reach that goal of potentially being six foot tall. Now that's the diet out of the way. Now there are also exercises that you can do. And the first thing is that I want you to improve your posture. So many people that you see on the street, they will walk like literally shoulders forward, having their back arched, like that is not good. You want to get into good habits or walking with your shoulders back and your chest out. And also you look so much better as well. If you have your chest out and your shoulders back, you look more confident, you look more alpha. You don't wanna be seeing someone literally walking around like that. It doesn't show like their manliness in them or it doesn't show that this person means business. So you wanna improve your posture. And if you improve your posture, that will help your back as well. And it will obviously help you grow taller as well. So that's the first thing that I want you to do. Now, the second thing is I want you to stretch more. So. Like I said, a lot of people walk with their shoulders back and we get tight in our lower back. So you can do a cobra stretch. Even for the people that want to build muscle, we do not stretch enough. So a cobra stretch is really good. And also we get tight in our hamstrings and that is the muscle behind our legs, if you didn't know. So make sure that you are stretching your hamstring. There are so many different hamstring stretches that you can do. And also another thing that you can do is train your back muscles. So if you are a kid, I'm gonna show you another exercise in a minute. But if you are a bit more older, I want you to start really working on the pulling exercises and that will really help your posture and it will make you look a lot taller. So you can do exercises like a dumbbell row, a barbell row, these exercises, anything that you are pulling is working your back. And if you are a lot younger, I want you to start doing more pull-ups. So literally, if your mommy and daddy doesn't let you go to the gym, you can find something that you can literally just pull up against and that's it. That will really help as well in the future when you want to go on YouTube and search how do you get a bigger back? Like you will already have a big back. You will not only be tall, but also you will have a good developed back. So that's what I want you to start doing. To really develop your back, start doing a lot of pulling exercises. If you are a lot younger, start stretching more and start doing some pull-ups as well. I'm not gonna lie, when I was young, I used to do pull-ups all the time, literally. I would come back home, literally just bang up a few pull-ups. 
I couldn't even do one at the start and then eventually we actually worked up and we got like 10 or 12 and I was like damn like I feel invincible like I couldn't even do one now I can do like 12. Now the last thing that I want you to start doing is make sure that you get enough sleep. So many of us don't get enough sleep and it's not only for the people who are younger but also who are a lot older. If you want to build muscle you got to make sure you are getting enough sleep. Same with if you want to grow taller and that's the time when you are sleeping is where you are actually not only recovering your body, you're repairing your body and also you are growing. So you want to make sure you are getting at least eight to nine hours of sleep a day. And also you'll feel good the next day. So if you have work or you have school, for example, you'll feel good and you'll feel energized as well. So please, please make sure you are getting enough sleep and it'll make a huge difference on your body, your energy and there's so many benefits from getting a good night's sleep. So get off your phone at night. Stop watching YouTube or I don't know, playing games on your phone. Get off your phone, put that phone to a side and say, look, I need to go to sleep. So I hope you can take something away from this video. Again, make sure to leave that thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat and I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.